I blog, therefore I am. I started on Blogger in 2001 and quickly moved to my own domain, TechSophist, in 2003, which used Drupal. It was both my own blogging space and the place where my students blogged as well. It was the blog for all seasons, academic, scholarly, personal, individual, and group. Vivian Serfate asserts that blogs are both a mirror and a veil. The classroom space then acts like a mirror where academic writing can be modeled and flourish, especially in a group blog where the teacher is in there blocking al along with students and commenting in order to keep conversational threads moving. Now, that's fine, but I wasn't comfortable doing the personal so I veiled the personal and following a blog is like getting to know someone or like watching a television series. I was leaving that part out. My professional life was not my only life. So I did move to a separate domain or a separate subdomain for my blogging for a good long time. And during that time, I was able to develop more, oddly, professionally. Adding the personal to the professional allows you to be your own self, to be your whole self. This picture, by the way, is of my son and his wife at their wedding. And I think it illustrates it. I was also able to do my creative writing then and participated in the Blopomo more than once. So it really fed into my poetry as well. Having interaction for different kinds of writing was good. Did I move back to using it in the classroom? Yes, I did. Keeping it separate, trying different things. This is the Ning I used. I also used WordPress more than once. Currently, I'm using Moodle in the classroom, and blogging is a big part of my classes. I ask students to create their own blogs. This is especially good for English ed students who are thinking of their professional identity. Do I use Twitter? Of course I do, but I use it like a blogger. Twitter is where I now put those short linky links and pics that used to be little bitty posts in my blog. So here I am, just a blog, for when 140 characters is not enough. And that sums up blogging. I am going to continue blogging. I'm going to continue using Twitter. I'm going to continue doing both in the classroom. Why? because they both serve a vital function for putting thoughts together and developing them. What's more, they do it using more than just text and in public so that other people can jump in and add to the conversation, making it better, so much better for everyone concerned. That is why I will blog my life. I will blog my scholarship. I will blog for my students both online and face-to-face. -face. I will blog for my life.